All right, guys, today we have the K688 microphone from Fafine, and I am using it right now. This is an XLR microphone slash USB microphone. Right now, I'm using the XLR version, which is cool. I'm going to talk about that later in this video. However, I just want to show you first when you receive it, what you get in the box is to really straightforward. Uh, you're going to get the user guide, the USB cable, and of course, the microphone. It comes with pop filter. I think this is a, more like a windscreen, actually. It's not a pop filter, which is supposed to filter out some plosives and of course it's gonna come with this um shock mount everything attached to it and that's pretty much it you're gonna need to get your own stand now as the time that i record this video this microphone is actually at 72 dollars on amazon which is kind of like a great deal looking at what you're getting i mean getting both usb and xlr and i believe actually if you guys i mean you can listen to it i think it actually does sound good i still have some mixed feelings uh we're gonna talk about some of the things that i feel like i'm not okay with i've got my sure sm7b which is a high-end microphone and i'm gonna be probably doing some testing with it just for you guys to have an idea to see the difference between the two microphones of course in terms of sound quality i also have to mention that this is actually a dynamic microphone so it's supposed to filter out some background noise i just want to make sure what you you know you get is straight from the microphone i'm not changing anything but other than that the material itself is actually really really good everything's 100 percent metal so it's well built of course looking at what you get in the box you're gonna need to get some sort of stand for it personally i use this type of stands this is what i like so something like this one or you can get something like a boom arm depending on what you're trying to do so for live streaming i believe this microphone is actually great from what i'm hearing in my headphones and for podcasting and stuff like that i still think this microphone sounds good however i feel like this form or pop filter is not doing a decent job this is a dynamic microphone so if i do some you know typing on my keyboard i believe you guys can hear it and if i click I believe you guys can hear it in the recording. In the Adobe Audition recording, I think you can hear it. So you probably have to filter that out using some, some sort of effects. But also, I want you to notice another thing, which is the uh, plosives. Or if I get really super close to the microphone, you know, I mean, like nobody's kind of breathing through the microphone, but you know, like usually in order to get a good sound from the microphone, you kind of have to be close to it, right? But now when you get close to it, you're going to hear your breathing. You're going to hear a little bit of plosives. Peter, 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 Peter. Peter Pippo. Anyways, it's I feel like it's not super wild when it comes to plosives and stuff like that. And also I'm just clipping. I don't know. I think I use too much gain. Yeah, so that's something that you kinda have to be aware of and uh kind of be extra careful uh to avoid any sort of you know clipping any sort of plosives but yeah that's so far that's what i see uh, but other than that i really really think the microphone sounds amazing you just gotta know how to use it speak directly through the capsule uh also like if you do uh the shock mount also i feel like it's not doing a great job because any movement anything like you touch the microphone you get it through the sound i kind of don't like that part but again this is a budget microphone 72 dollars it's actually a steal so last before we test the usb option i'm gonna go ahead and actually test the um the proximity thing people like that i don't know why but you know this is me like two inch close to the microphone oh yeah about two inch three four five inch six inch kind of thing and this is like yeah like maybe three two feet away from the microphone so say four five inch is actually perfect and just adjust your gain and yeah another thing try to have some sort of compression uh applied maybe through your streaming effects because yeah if you scream or you kind of change your 
tone maybe you speak a little louder uh, depending on your levels you may actually clip it so try to have some sort of compression or limiter applied in obs or depending on the software that you're using just to avoid that uh, if you're using an interface try to see if you can have that option built into your interface but other than that if you are extra careful you should be able to get really really good sound all right so next i'm gonna compare it with my shoe sm7b and last we're gonna check out the usb option so this is my shoe sm7b connected using directly using the vocaster one of course as an interface and it's coming directly no uh effects same settings the only thing that i have to change the gain on the vocaster one because if you don't do it the volume is gonna be super super low and uh this is what it sounds like compared to the fafine and this is the fafine with the same gain as the shoe sm7b obviously it's clipping so i have to adjust the volume all right so this should be good so this is the the uh, fafine compared to the sure sm7b that we just tested all right so that's pretty much it so now we're gonna go ahead and actually check out the usb option all right guys now we have the fafine k6a8 usb option connected directly to adobe audition and this is the sound you're getting from it right now i feel like i kind of like the usb option because you have a volume knob so i can actually increase and decrease control the gain on here on the bottom of the microphone and you have a headphones jack to be able to monitor your audio which is great now i have another recording in Streamlabs uh, for the purpose of recording this video and I'm not using the microphone so I'm using the Shure SM7B just as a reference audio so what you're getting on this part is 100% coming from Adobe Audition. Now what do I think about the USB option? I feel like it sounds actually kind of good. It's not better than the XLR option however there's one thing that I like mostly about it. I like because now the volume is on the maximum right then the, the gain and i feel like i'm not clipping even when i talk close to the microphone like this close i think i feel like the dynamic capabilities of this microphone actually shines through the usb part of it i mean the outside noise it's still there right but i feel like the sound is more compact more contained and it's less likely to pick up noise and it's probably never clipping the only problem with it if you're speaking far away from the mic you're probably not gonna get anything so that's i mean usually that's why a dynamic microphone is it's like you have to be really close to the microphone if you're far from the microphone then you're not gonna get anything let's keep quiet to see if we can hear anything Yeah, I mean, like, I can't hear much. So this is kind of good. Again, I I really, really love this option of the microphone. I feel like it sounds good. The plosives, they're not as bad as the XLR part of the microphone so in my opinion if you want to use the dynamic side of this microphone i think usb is better and again it's straightforward you don't need an interface but if you want to use the xr part as well make sure maybe you have a good interface with good preamps that are going to filter out if you know they're going to compress it to avoid some clipping denoise effects not too much i don't want to exaggerate but yeah a little bit of that and it will sound good too i feel like xlr sounds better but it's more sensitive you get too much gain coming through and you kind of have to be aware of that and the usb part is more compact is more dynamic and uh it sounds good of course i think it's a great option for most people in my opinion so do i recommend this mic absolutely i think it's a great microphone if, especially if you're starting out you are on a budget i think this is a great mic again compared to microphones like this one this is like a 400 dollar microphone and this is only 72 dollars so i think it's a great mic i would recommend it 100 especially if you're on a budget however i mean again you still have two options which is 
which is really good so this is it guys i uh, this is these are my thoughts but if you still on budget they say you feel like 72 dollars is too much i have another mono microphone that i actually reviewed that will cost you under 30 dollars and sounds really really good it's a usb microphone so i'm gonna actually leave the video right here if you want to check it out i also have another mono microphone pm 500 that i reviewed as well that microphone sounds super super good and it's just an amazing microphone if you want to check it out i'm gonna leave the video right here it's an xr mic by the way for fans send me this microphone but they're not paying me to make this review and these are my opinions 100 so trust me have a great day